Every electric vehicle seems to be a new Rorschach test. Does the BMW i3 look like a space-age transportation pod about to whisk you into an exciting future? Or does the Mercedes-Benz B-Class electric drive reassure you that a battery-powered Mercedes will still be a Mercedes? Which vehicle signals your environmental virtue more effectively, the sleek and expensive-looking Tesla Model S or the somewhat gawky Chevrolet Bolt? Hyundai's 2017 Ionic Electric is the newest ink blot on the block. It's not a Jetson's bubble top or a Hot Wheels Sizzler or a Tesla or a Bolt. It's one-third of a trio of new Ionics, and it's designed to blend in. It looks pretty much like any other Ionic, which all look a lot like other Hyundai's. How much psychological self-actualization is there in an electric car that's proudly efficient in its use of electricity but keeps quiet about it? And does efficiency trump the fact that the Ionic Electric is behind the leaders in terms of range? A modern polywalk. With its blocked-off grille covered in the usual piano black plastic, a stack of LEDs defining each end of the front bumper cover, and an EV-exclusive tail lamp design, the Ionic Electric is subtle about announcing its ampere dependency. But the rest of the car is conventionally drawn to a fault. It's a fastback hatch with lines that split the difference between a first-generation Chevy Volt and a second-generation Toyota Prius, a modern polywog with creases. It's unlikely to make much of a splash when thrown into the traffic stream. That conventionality continues inside the Ionic Electric, where Hyundai will proudly point out what paints were made from soybean oils and which plastics have been mixed with volcanic stone and powdered wood. Hey! Many of the soft-touch plastic surfaces contain sugar cane, the same stuff that provides the natural sweetness of Mexican Coca-Cola. But the interior design itself is straightforward and conventional. No funky town dial to control the 7.0-inch screen atop the dashboard center stack, just good old touch controls. There are some nice metallic accents and the flat-bottom steering wheel is perfectly pleasing to hold. But the best thing about the interior is that there are real controls for most of the things that need controlling. There's no need to scroll through menus just to tune to NPR or Rush Limbaugh. And since Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are built in, integrating personal electronics is simple.